Lost in Language, which is probably a reference to something that I don't get, starts with Luz once again reading King the Good Witch Azura, which totally isn't a parallel to the story of the show, by the way. Anyway, a little bundle of joy is dropped off on their doorstep. It looks like a gift basket. Probably an offering. Ah, uh, being the most powerful witch in the Boiling Isles has its perks. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> fresh meat. Nope, not eating that. Witches eating babies is so 1693. Since the Bat Queen wants Ida to babysit in exchange for a big payday. Ida sends Luz on an errand to return her overdue library books, and this'll just go swimmingly, I can already tell. Now let's take a look at this little darling. Oh boy! Ah. On second thought, maybe we could use your help! Well, I better get to the library. Gotta go, bye! We got this, right? Ah. Oh yeah. I got a good feeling about this one. Luz returns the books, which get put on her tab, and Chekhov's meteor shower. Luz has some wacky magical library shenanigans until she overhears Amity reading books to children, and Luz thinks that she can befriend her like Azura befriended her rival, but... Human, do you see me going to the owl shack and bugging you while you... fry up owls? <sighs> okay, I don't really know what you do there, but every time you come near me, I get in trouble. Just leave me alone! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ah, so much for befriending rivals. Luz then meets Emera and Edric, Amity's older siblings, and they immediately embarrass Amity. Watch this. Hey, Mittens! <laughs> Mom says stop forgetting your lunch. And stop being a jerk to your friend. <clears throat> she is not my friend. Yeah, makes sense. She seems too cool for you. I am? You can leave now, all of you! <laughs> Typical sibling behavior. The twins show Luz a good time by planning some harmless pranks. <laughs> huh? No! Not again! <laughs> okay, more like malicious pranks on second thought, but they end up getting kicked out of the library anyway. The twins let Luz in on their plan to break into the library later that night for some playful vandalization, I'm sure. Meanwhile, Ida takes her first step to becoming everyone's mother. Ugh, I hate it too, Pipsqueak, but think about the money. No amount of snails is worth this torture! Make it stop! Oh, I can't believe I'm about to do this. Brock. Rock, maternal gesture. Then the baby spits out more babies that cause even more chaos while Luz slips away to meet the twins at the library. Once inside, the Chekhov star shower begins and its magic causes the books to come to life like Night at the Museum. Love that movie. The trio mess around with the various books causing all kinds of trouble. Meanwhile, King makes a meta joke. What silences children? What if we invent a TV network for ages six to 11? That's insane. And Ida reads the kids a bedtime story, see Mama Ida coming through like always. The twins figure out that any changes they make to the books changes the characters that come out. I can't do it. Let me help. <sighs> I don't want to see it. Whatever. We didn't come here just to doodle. Come on. I'm sure that won't be important. The twins take Luz to Amity's secret hideaway in the library so they can teach Amity a lesson. Mittens has gotten too full of herself. She keeps tattling on us when we cut class. She needs to learn not to mess with people like that. So we're going to find her diary. And then post the pages all around school for everyone to see. <laughs> Man, these kids are ruthless. Luz finds a set of the Good Witch Azura books, which also was hiding Amity's diary that immediately gets taken by the twins. That girl really does look like a ripe tomato, huh? Amity runs off disappointed and Luz goes to find her when they run into the improved Audubon. Audubon? With claws and fangs and breaking bones, I found a friend to make my own. Luz uses the power of fiction to turn herself into Azura. Man, that's some foreshadowing, huh? She fails miserably, and they both get sewn into the pages of a giant book. They then attempt to escape, but get caught. Amity manages to escape, but Luz almost gets sewn into the book entirely until Amity saves her with a book cart. Amity has the bright idea of creating a magic eraser that Luz uses to erase the changes to return the little guy to normal, 
and Luz lets Amity borrow her fifth Azura book. This never happened. Wait, it doesn't make up for reading your diary, but would you want to borrow this? I noticed you only had up to four. Thank you. Maybe you aren't a bully. I haven't exactly been the friendliest witch either. I'll think on that. She may just befriend her rival after all, huh? When Luz gets back, the Bat Queen shows up to pick up her babies and vomits up their payment before taking off, and we get my favorite scene of the episode. Ah, sweet babies. Babies? Where are the babies? Oh, I just taught Junior how to pick locks, too. Yeah, I'm sure the Bat Queen's just a one-off character. She'll probably never show up again. This episode was just a really fun adventure that showed how Luz really does want to be friends with Amity and hints that Amity may finally be swaying towards liking Luz or at least tolerating her. Also, this episode subtly hints that Luz is bisexual, which is honestly fantastic and just super cute. Luz really isn't your typical protagonist since she really isn't out to make enemies. The subplot with Ida and King taking care of the babies was pretty entertaining as well since Ida will be everyone's mom eventually. Overall, I give Lost in Language a 6 out of 10. It was fun, but a little underwhelming. On the wild card, and I'll see you next time. Peace.